Hello everybody, this is Srinivas from Informatica Support and my today's topic is creating an oracle resource for metadata manager. When ASO or advanced security option is enabled for the oracle database, the product version here is 9.5.1. Metadata manager is a web based application used to manage metadata in MM repository warehouses. Metadata Manager is used to browse and analyze metadata from various sources and connection between them. Once the connections between the various sources are established, we can use them for analyzing the data flow and also for impact analysis. Resources are created and then loaded into the MM Warehouse. The various resources that can be created and loaded into MM Repository are Application Resources, Business Intelligence Data Sources, Data Integration Sources, Data Modeling Data Sources and also various Relational Database Sources. Now moving on to MMUI page. So ASO or Advanced Security Option is an advanced security feature in Oracle Database. Whenever we try to load a resource from an oracle database which is ASO enabled we often end up getting misleading error messages with regard to service IDs. So to load a resource from which is ASO enabled we need to follow the below steps. As regular oracle resource create a new oracle resource click on new resource click on oracle click on next i have already created a resource i would show you the options i have used there so this is this is the name of a resource i have created and also we can provide the description if necessary moving on to the configuration tab this is the username and password that is basically the oracle schema name and the password then this is a JDBC connection URL here we can see this is the host name of where the oracle database is configured this is the port and this is the service ID the change between a normal oracle resource and a oracle resource with advanced security options is this we can see that we have to provide the encryption level, encryption type, data integration level and data integrity types type option. This of these values of these four options can be found in the sqlnet.ora in the oracle database which you can collect it from your oracle DBA. So once we get the four required options of the four options for ASO enabling or in the Oracle database we can provide this JDBC URL provide the connect string and also encoding and test connection we can see the test connection is successful also when we are using an Oracle uh, database with ASO enabled we would often end up getting an error like failure due to insufficient maximum key length according to install JCE policy files, please install Java cryptography and extension unlimited strength restriction policy files. This is because the jar files we used while configuring the power center is missing for the ASO resource. It also requires uh, additional to jar files along with the jar files we provide with the power center installation. For that, we need to go into the corresponding Java vendor for other, uh, for uh, Linux. It's IBM uh, IBM Java, or uh, for Oracle, it's Sun Java. So for A uh, for AX, it's IBM Java. For Oracle, uh, for Linux, it's Sun Java. Download these 
two policy files policy dot jar and a us export policy dot jar and place it in your infa home java location so once these changes are made we can the test connection would be successful once the test connection is successful then what we provide is similar to the uh, regular oracle resource we provide the available schemas present on it which we can select the schema which required we can also provide the linking rules where here we used rule based linking we can also load a resource with a schedule or we can just create a resource without attaching a loading schedule for it and then we can load the resource as desired so here uh, once the resource is created we can click on this and start the load operation this uh, in this example this resource has already been loaded we can then go into the catalog tab and we can check the schema which we had loaded and also the various objects present inside the schema the only difference between uh, the oracle resource and uh, loading oracle resource and a, a loading oracle resource with aso is the extension uh, the options which we provide in the jdbc url and the use of two additional jar files so i would recommend you to read administrator guide for metadata manager service for more information on this regard we would always love to hear from you for any queries or any other further questions on this regard please drop us a mail to support videos at informatica.com we are also on twitter you can follow our twitter handler in fast support have a great day and happy learning